what is I mean because you actually brought this this point up right before we start this podcast you were talking about how the the entire issue of the Palestinian struggle is oftentimes packaged to the outside world as an Islamic struggle which alienates other groups the Hindus for example or whoever it, it, because we it, the whole perception is oh this is your problem not mine what has been the Malaysian attitude towards this struggle um as a palestinian i appreciate um uh, any interest and any support uh, in the palestinian uh, or towards the palestinian struggle but uh, from my personal experience here in malaysia the issue is always viewed from a religious prism uh, and perspective uh, which causes misunderstandings and confusion because the palestinian people to start with um, the palestinian people are not muslim only we have muslims christians and we have smaller communities um the even bahai community um there are uh, palestinian jews uh, a small community of palestinian jews um, and therefore uh, those who think that we as muslims should support the palestinians because they are muslims they start with the wrong premise it's it's not accurate as one number two, the struggle in palestine is not uh, for religious um for a religious agenda the palestinians be it muslims christians or others are struggling for freedom they want the basic human rights the dignity they want emancipation they want liberation they want to have a state of their own and uh, this struggle should be supported by anybody who believes in basic uh, you know human, human rights, rights. Yeah. muslims christians hindus buddhists um, anybody who believes that other humans are equal should support uh, this struggle um in addition to that of course for muslims in particular here in malaysia and across the world the idea of uh, fighting against injustice is very entrenched in the islamic principles and in the islamic uh, doctrine uh, in the holy quran in the traditions of the prophet in the struggle of the prophet himself against the dominance of the uh, the, the, the you know the powerful in mecca um all of that points to the importance for muslims anywhere in the world to support a national liberation struggle and that's why a country like malaysia was very supportive of the uh, struggle in south africa against apartheid even though the majority of the south africans are not muslims but a muslim majority country like malaysia was at the forefront of supporting anti apartheid uh, uh, you know efforts um currently many in malaysia see the palestinian issue as a muslim versus jewish uh, problem which is not true which is not accurate and uh, i am sorry to tell those who think this way that you are wrong we want the issue to be framed correctly this is a struggle for freedom um uh, this is a struggle for uh, human rights this is a, fr- a struggle for uh, liberation and we want everybody to support it and look at the global support a country Uh, the country that actually stick its neck and took serious proactive action against israel in the international legal framework is not a muslim country south africa went all the way to the icj to charge israel for genocide while 57 muslim majority countries or members of the oic you know could not uh, achieve that uh, but of course there are also other muslim countries that are actively supporting the palestinian struggle and as we see now the resistance axis um iran yemen uh, uh, and other countries are in full force supporting the palestinian struggle so yeah but go, coming back to malaysia i think it's good if the issue is framed as a struggle for freedom and uh, while it's good that muslims would like to do more for their muslim brothers and sisters in palestine they should not um, you know um, they should not uh, steer away others non muslims who are interested in the palestinian issue and from my communication with many malaysian friends in the civil society in particular i see that many christians hindus buddhists um are very supportive of palestine but not uh, as many of them are uh, engaged in public debate and discourse on palestine here in malaysia maybe the the, the fact that malaysia's um, uh, public discourse is very heavily influenced by racial yeah. uh, i think know, that's the main problem yeah politics and racial uh, uh ideology uh, maybe this in a way limits uh, any such initiatives from non muslims <coughs> but there are still some active figures uh, in the political uh, and civil society framework that are always speaking up on palestine i see people like uh, 
Tianchua, uh, yeah. former member of parliament Tianchua, uh, people like um, current human resources minister uh, YB Stevenson um, are, are frequently speaking on the Palestinian yeah. issue and supporting the Palestinian struggle and I highly appreciate that and of course I expect others to engage them to express their appreciation for this uh, and to invite others to join. Definitely.